and for tween and teen cooking to go. Today I selected a recipe out of a book that we have here at the library, Disney Princess Tea Parties by Sarah Walker Karn. The recipe that I chose is Nakomi Corn Cookies. So what you will need is a half a cup of white sugar, one fourth a cup of brown sugar, a fourth cup of cornmeal, one teaspoon of baking powder, one and a half cups of flour, a half teaspoon of salt. You'll need an oven to bake your cookies in, a large mixing bowl, a medium bowl, baking sheet, some parchment paper to put on your baking sheet, a wire cooling rack, a tablespoon so you can stir things, three-fourths cup of unsalted room temperature butter, one egg, and one teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is preheat our oven to 375 degrees. Line a baking sheet with parchment paper. That's so your cookies don't stick to the, to the baking sheet. In a large mixing bowl, Add the three-fourths cup of butter, the half cup of white sugar, which is granulated sugar, and the quarter cup of brown sugar. So first, I am going to kind of smash the butter up. It's room temperature, so it's very soft, very easy to work with. We're going to go ahead and add the white granulated sugar. And you want to cream it, which means you mix it up really well. We're going to add the brown sugar too. Get it all mixed up real good. And I still have sugar that's not mixed up in this. Hey, that looks great. Next up is to add the egg and vanilla, and we're going to mix it well. So we want one teaspoon of vanilla. We're going to go ahead and crack the egg. Make sure you wash your hands. I'm going to actually leave the screen for just a second because I have to wash my hands. I got a little bit of egg on my fingers. So it's all washed off. Go ahead and mix the egg and the vanilla. Okay, it's mixed up real nice. Next step, in a medium bowl, add the cornmeal, baking powder, salt, and flour. So I have one and a half cups of flour. I'm gonna go ahead and add the one fourth cup of cornmeal, a half teaspoon of salt, and I'm not going to measure the salt over my mixing bowl just in case I, it comes out too fast. Go ahead and put the salt in and then one teaspoon of baking powder. So we're going to use my measuring instrument that I used for the salt because my teaspoon is dirty, but we'll just do this twice because it's a half a teaspoon. 
So for the baking powder, go ahead and dip it in your can. And then I get the top edge and do it just like that to get off the excess. The half, we need one more to make one teaspoon. Okay, there's one teaspoon. We're going to go ahead and mix it up. Now we're going to take our wet ingredients and add our dry ingredients to it a little at a time and mix it up real good. You want to do it a little at a time so you can get it all mixed in. Because if you dump it all in the bowl at one time, it's going to take you a long time to mix it up. You go ahead and put the rest in there. Mix it up. I'm going to scrape the cookie dough off of my wooden spoon. Continue mixing. You don't want to see any of the flour. Flour, cornmeal, it's all going to be mixed up. And it's getting a little stiff. I'm going to use my fingers to make sure your hands are clean. I just washed my hands because of getting the egg on my fingers. I hate having anything on my fingers like that. And you can add a little flour to your fingers too if you do what I'm doing. Because then the dough won't stick. See how it's sticking? Almost got it all mixed up. Okay, you see it's all mixed up. We have cookie dough now. So I lined my cookie sheet with parchment paper. I am using a tablespoon measuring device here. And you want a tablespoon of cookie dough and then use another spoon so you can get it out of the tablespoon. And you want to stagger them so they're like two to three inches a part of from each other because once they start baking they're gonna melt and you don't want them all running together and I'm preheating my oven to three seven uh, to 375 degrees right now So this is a convection oven, so it's a little bit smaller. So I'm only going to be able to fit five um, cookie dough balls on my cookie sheet. And what you're going to do, you're going to put it in the oven and bake it for 13 to 16 minutes or until lightly brown. And my oven's preheated. Make sure that you use pot holders. So we're going to go ahead and open it. We're going to slide it in the oven here. I'm going to set my timer for 16 minutes. 
And when it gets around the 13 mark, I'm going to check to see how brown they are and then determine how long that they need to bake after that. Okay, I just took them out of the oven and actually it was only about 11 minutes and the recipe said 13 to 16 and they didn't flatten out. So the next batch I make, I am going to push them down a little bit to flatten them out. So the next step is to let them cool for a couple minutes and then transfer them to the wire rack and let them cool. So here's my next batch that's going to go in the oven. And since they didn't spread out like I thought they would, I added another cookie. So there's six up there. And I flattened them out just a little bit by, um, whoops, by just pushing the dough down like that. So you can go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and put these in the oven. Okay, here is the batch, my second batch that I just took out of the oven that I, uh, like I, kind of flatten them a little bit so they're not so puffy looking the like this one here or it really rose but since I flattened those they look like a they look like the picture in the Disney princess book so I'm gonna go ahead and try one of these that's what it looks like inside it it's actually delicious. Um, you can tell it, you can taste a cornmeal, but it's really good. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for the next one.